Hi. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back to the Oliver Fetter YouTube channel. Uh, this is just a quick update vid about how things are going currently and what I am working on. Oh, here comes the part where I have to actually think about what to say. <laughs> so let's start uh, with the car and the VNT turbo system. So Mm, there's kind of a long delay there for a minute uh, in terms of making any kind of progress. So I first put the VNT turbo in the car. We're going to recap. We're, we're recapping. I put the VNT turbo in the car last fall and drag raced it without any VNT mechanism on it. And I blew the turbo and I ruined my 1.6 engine. And that all sucked. Uh, and then I picked the pieces out of my engine. We got the turbo back on it with a new you know, cartridge in the middle so that it wasn't blown anymore. And what happened then? Oh, and then me and Dave finally, me and Dave got around to actually building the Arduino control setup, which in and of itself was like a pretty big undertaking and took a while, it took at least like three or four weekend, five weekend days worth of work, going back and forth, programming things, trying sensors, working out bugs. And it did actually work. Then it's tough because it didn't work for very long optimally, but it does work. And when it works, it works really well. Um, so, but it only worked perfectly. Like it was working well, holy shit. It was working well. And then I changed the timing on the car because the timing was what was slow. Uh, I, re you know, retarded my injection timing and then it worked well for one drive, like really well. And then the very next time I drove it, which was literally like 20 minutes, well, like four hours later, it didn't work. My veins stopped actuating altogether. I tried a bunch of things, couldn't figure it out, got really frustrated and decided to say, screw it. You know, let's just try the Go Fast Bits V2 boost controller. Uh, you know, surely... A mechanical control system will just work without any bullshit uh, and be more reliable and be easier to use. So I ordered a GoFastBits V2 boost controller after that decision and I ordered it from the cheapest place I could find it because I was trying to be, you know, a good internet consumer. And of course it just didn't ship. Like I ordered it before I left on a trip, which is also part of the reason I haven't worked much because I just haven't been around that much. But I went went to Canada, came back, still wasn't here. Emailed them. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get you a tracking number soon. Gave them that week. Still didn't have it. I was like, what? Where is it? And they were like, oh, we'll get it to you very soon, you know? Now you're on a priority list. And finally, I was like, okay, this, this bullshit ends now. I'm waiting on the never arriving part from the website that might just rip me off at this point. They didn't rip me off. They did give me a refund, uh, but they did waste an entire month of my time waiting on that part. So then I promptly ordered it from eBay for like 30 more bought dollars and it showed up at my doorstep in three days, <laughs> at which point I installed it on the car earlier this week. Uh, and after installing it, which wasn't that hard to do, I mean, I had to modify a few things and put it all together. It works like total dog shit. Uh, and I'm not... I'm not blaming the Go Fast Bits hardware here for the reason it works poorly, but I just don't think it's going to work well on my particular application. Uh, and that's for a couple reasons. So reason one why it's probably not working well is I don't think my vacuum pump is actually providing enough vacuum to that system that through all its little tubes and valves and all that BS, I think the vacuum signal that actually gets to the actuator is probably quite weak. And to fix it, I would have to probably buy a new vein pump because, you know, here's my, oh Jesus, here's my vein pump and the stupid valve broke off like always, which someone was like, hey, why don't you, you know, try the other style of pump? Uh, sorry, honestly, forget your name, reached out to me. And I was like, that's a great idea. So I called Parts Place and was like, hey, can I get, you know, a rebuild kit and like one vein to fix my pump? And it turns out their rebuild kits don't fit this pump for whatever reason. Like their, their newer pump has a bigger head. And so if you try to use their rebuild kit, it just won't work. Uh, and it was going to be like 70 bucks anyways for a freaking cap and a vein. 
So when he called me back and told me it wasn't going to fit, I said, screw it. So we're going to return the Go Fast Bits controller. I'm going to throw that away. And we're just not going to do mechanical control. So that's like the logistics side of it wasn't working and the vacuum isn't working. But what else kind of isn't working is that the fact that it's like a huge turbo for this engine. I know it's not like that big of a turbo, but it easily produces surge conditions when not controlled super exactly. Meaning if you get on the throttle in like fifth gear, your compressor wheel will be flowing more air than the engine can consume and it'll surge, which is like, like the air is basically going into the engine, not going into the engine and then getting forced back out the turbo, which is bad for your turbo and long-term could definitely lead to some problems. So in light of that, uh, I think the BNT Arduino controller was actually doing a much better job of managing kind of a tough turbo and engine combination. And I actually reached out to go fast bits support and they were pretty helpful, I will say or at least they were attentive, which is a good start. Uh, and, you know, kind of walked them through what I was doing, sent them some videos, la -ti da And they were pretty quick to get to the point of like, hey, it might just not work. <laughs> which the fact that the support representative got to the point of saying, this just won't work on your car, like pretty quickly made me feel like that might just be a fair take, uh, even if I fixed my vacuum problems. Because it's just... The turbo is not meant to go with this engine and that alone makes it tricky to control. And I feel like even if the vacuum system maybe worked better, it still might not be as dialed as my electronic control system. So I think the move is to forge ahead with the Arduino control. I need to, you know, polish some things up there for sure. I think the breadboard is the main problem. You know, I have the Arduino itself and then there's a bunch of wires running into a breadboard that are like how we make the connections quickly and easily. And those are all really janky and wobbly. And I think they lead to a lot of problems with it. So I need to go through and solder all those connections now that we're kind of like stable on what components are part of it, part of the circuit. And my senses were all working well. The other pain point with the Arduino setup is that my linear actuator kept failing, which is actually what failed when I drove home that one day and it worked and then like two hours later it didn't work is the linear actuator the wires actually just ripped out of the pcv board in the actuator i took it apart to see what's good with it uh and by linear actuator i mean i mean this thing right here this is what actually gets 12 volts and moves the veins and when it works it works really well and when it doesn't work then it literally nothing works in the car so i think i need to i'm gonna try one more of these uh and i'm gonna do stress relief on the wires so they don't pull out of the board and i have a blanket on the turbo now which is good because i think part of the problem too is this thing's kind of exposed to some of that heat being right there so now hopefully it won't be exposed to nearly as much heat and we're just gonna try again. And then I'm gonna return this one so I have an extra one on hand. And eventually I might have to try to find a higher quality one, but it's tough because when you need something that's this size with one inch of throw on it, it's hard to find any of them that are quality. In fact, this one's like really not that bad, I figured out after looking around. Um, yeah, so. That's what's happening with the car and with the VNT system. I think the Go Fast Bits boost controller might be great if you have, you know, like a stock TDI turbo on a stock TDI, but I think compared to how well the Arduino is performing, it's honestly just a downgrade. Uh, so long-term goals is definitely still to polish up the Arduino system and eventually have it sized down onto like a board and with some sensors and then like sell it to whoever wants you know, a package that runs a VNT turbo. That's definitely a long-term goal for that. And in the meantime, my ALH motor, I decided just to take a whack at it this week because I had the time. And, you know, the VNT system is being bricked anyway, so might as well work on the ALH motor. Uh, and I'm getting pretty bent on the ALH motor with parts right now, so it's gonna be pushed out a few weeks for sure. But I don't think I'm realistically installing the ALH motor till I'm confident that my turbo system is dialed 
but it feels like those two things are kind of happening at the same time and kind of converging but it's not going to be it's probably going to be a couple months before those two things really converge together and both are in good enough places that the AOH goes in the rabbit with a new turbo using that control system. But it can happen. And even the fact that like the bottom end is going together is a big deal. You know, I might still need to take the AOH head apart a little bit and just clean some stuff. But, but I mean, that's big steps. Uh, there's certainly some other decently large financial steps I have to take, like buying a new transmission, a new O2O, probably buying a new clutch set. The clutch set's gonna suck. That's at least like five to six hundred dollars. Uh, probably some other things I'm forgetting. <laughs> and probably still quite a bit of head scratching. Like the ALH doesn't belong in the Mark I, so when I put it in there, it will be mostly straightforward, but there's certainly still things to iron out. like how the coolant gets from the water pump to the radiator because there isn't a hose that exists that does that. So there's those things to take care of. And I think kind of together working on both fronts as much as I can when I have time and when the parts come in, I'll eventually hopefully have a super powerful ALH with a VNC turbo in my car. Hopefully by next year, even. I mean, this year would be sweet, but we're we're burning daylight <laughs> so we'll see if it happens in the meantime um if anyone has a recommendation for a micro linear actuator to use and or any kind of rugged small actuator thing or 12 volt servo that also has a uh auto stop function at its limits you know so like when it extends all the way it stops extending when it gets to the end that kind of a function uh please let me know it's a pretty oddly specific request but maybe someone watching will know and as always i appreciate your viewership <laughs> trying to keep me posted on what's going on but lately i'll tell you to be honest there just wasn't that much going on because i was waiting on parts so as always appreciate you Thank you for watching. Have a nice day out there.